Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to be talking about um, moving to Ireland from South Africa when it comes to like bank accounts, what to make sure you have before you leave South Africa, and what banks to sign up for when you do come to Ireland. Um, okay, so the first thing I think like before you leave South Africa, I think like a few months before, um, make sure you either have these, either a standard bank shift account, if you're a standard bank user, or an FMB global account if you're an FMB user. I think those two accounts really help. Obviously, either one of them, especially when you're spending money overseas, because the, the thing with that is basically we have an FMB global account. I'm not really familiar with the standard bank shift because I don't have one. We have the FMB global one. So basically, you can buy foreign currency on that account. You literally just transfer. It's basically like another account in your in your accounts, whatever type of accounts you have, right? Um, so you can literally transfer from account to the FMB, FMB account to FMB global account. And um, whenever obviously the rate is good to whatever currency you want. And the best thing is when you do that, then whenever you go to, for example, we bought euros through the FMB global account from our FMB account. So when we were spending the euros in Ireland, you don't pay any extra fee because it's already in euros. So that is the benefit compared to just swiping your card and using RANDs because then you get obviously the rate and extra charges and it's just like, it's too much, you know? Um, that This is probably like the best way to do it. So, and the good thing about FMB Global is when you sign up for that, you do get um, access to lounges all around the world, which is helpful, especially if you like to travel and want to travel. And the thing is when you do sign up for your FMB Global account, so basically if you have an FMB account in general, you can sign up for an FMB Global account. You literally just do it on the app. And the thing is, when you do get that, make sure you get the card because you need the card for lounges, for example, all over the world. You need to show them the actual card. And if you want to use the card in other countries, make sure you activate it in South Africa. So use it once in South Africa before you obviously use it in another country because we didn't do that and we had an issue. Um, but the thing is, uh, I, I've been using it on, on Apple Pay and Google Pay. It works fine. Um, so that's a great part. So when we first came here, we've literally just been using the FMB uh, global account because we've already bought euros and you can buy euros anytime. So like even now that we're here now, if the rate is good, we'll buy euros on the FMB global account because, you know, the rate is good and we use card all the time. So it's easy. We just have to obviously um, swipe it or use it on um, Apple or Google Pay. Um, and obviously same thing with the standard shift. I'm not very familiar, but again, if you have it, then it, I'm sure it, it, it more or less will work the same way. Um, but obviously go find out more about that because obviously we have more experience at FMB Global. Um, and like the next thing is would be, um, like, especially when you come here, you do need to use your card when you're, obviously you have to go for like a, for your GNIB card, which allows you to stay in the country for more than three months and they only accept card. So the benefit is there when you use the FMB Global, you don't get extra charges because you already bought those euros, you already paid those charges to exchange. So you're literally using that. Um, so it's obviously much, much better um, that way. Um, and the fact that you can only use card really limits you. Um, and another thing now, um, obviously now that's, we're done talking about the banks in South Africa. Now we're going to move on to what banks to sign up for in Ireland. So when we first came here, we started with Revolut um, because it's, it's not an Irish account, but it's basically an online um, uh, bank account and uh, they have like no fees. So we used it. We use it basically to obviously pay other pay people in Ireland. Um, and also like some companies, like whoever company you work with may transfer into your Revolut and there's no extra fees. Like, like with my, like with my work, I was getting transferred into Revolut till I got an Irish bank account. Um, but the thing is not everyone would, would transfer into that account because it's not an Irish bank account. Uh, and the thing is you need an Irish bank account, especially if you obviously for credit and if you plan to buy a place here and also for mortgage, you need to build a credit score, you know? So that's why you need an Irish bank account. It's really important. Um, it's like in any other country, it's good to get a bank account in that country. So I would say the two banks would probably be, um, so obviously we started off with Revolut just to start and help us out till we actually got our Irish bank accounts. Um, and uh, we there's either AIB, well, from the ones that everyone recommended to us was AIB or Bank of Ireland. So we found the AIB process much easier and much more friendly, user friendly. So um, Bank of Ireland, both of them can be done online, Bank of Ireland and AIB. 
we just found the AIB more user friendly. So we did what you have to do for AIB. You have to download the AIB um, app. So you download the app and obviously it tells you how to do the whole process. It's quite easy and quite simple. And like, I think the when they ask about what type of ID you're using, make sure you use your passport. Um, and then eventually they will ask for a GNIB card once they obviously um, confirm your identity and everything. So if you don't have a GNIB card, which does take a few months to get, like some people have been here for three months and still haven't gotten it. So if you don't have that, make sure uh, you can even sign up for this bank as soon as you get here. That's fine. But make sure you get a letter from your employer. You basically tell your employer that you want to you need help signing up for a bank account and you don't have your GNIB card. So they will give you some form of a letter or something to help you so that you can sign up for an Irish bank account. Um, and yeah, I'm like, I feel like it's really uh, important to check like who who banks with your employer and with obviously your landlord. Like for us, most of them use AIB, so it's actually easier because whenever they transfer and we transfer, they get it the same day, it's instant. Obviously when you use different bank accounts, like for example, AIB and Bank of Ireland, it's gonna take one or two days, that's normal. So like, um, it just depends on you. Um, like for us, most of the people that we needed to deal with was AIB, so, and AIB was quite easy for us. Like it literally took, um, like as soon as you do it, everything is done online and they have like an interview with you online to confirm everything. Um, and then after a few days, they'll send you a pin to activate your account. So send it to your address. So it has to be obviously an Irish address. Um, so make sure obviously you have access to that. And then after, if once you activate your account and you get that pin, they then send your card and pin after a few days. So it literally takes about like a week to sign up to AIB, as long as you obviously have your passport and some form of Irish either from your bank, a letter from your bank, um, or your GNIB card. Um, and otherwise, yeah, it was pretty much easy um, and we didn't really have an issue with it. Um, and I think like, I think like that's about it. Like, I think I explained everything. If you guys have any um, questions, uh, please leave it in the comment section and I will get to it and try to be as helpful as possible. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you guys can get notifications whenever I post new videos. And I really hope this was helpful and I hope you guys have a great day and bye.